All right, let's look at page uh, 40 in Geometry 1115. Um, I uh, had gone on the advice of a teacher who had taken students, many students, through this pace and said that most students don't seem to have too much trouble with this pace, but that's not true of everybody. And uh, sometimes you just feel like you're going around in circles, right? Of course, this pace is about circles, so maybe you feel dizzy. By the time you get to page 40, you're, you're dizzy. What do we do? All right, let's talk about question eight and nine in particular. I had a student reach out to me and ask specifically for help on these two. And I'm gonna say once again, the tip that I've given, um, I've probably given in some later pieces, and I'm gonna, I think I mentioned it earlier, but, it, but truly, two things, number one, Make sure you look at the preceding theorems, postulates, corollaries, whatever they just recently taught you and say, how are we going to use this one? Is this going to be one of the reasons, one of my statements over here for why I can make these statements? I guess that is the reason, right? Yeah. So we need to look back at some of the preceding theorems that are leading up to this. So here I'm on page 40, but let's look back. What's, what came right before that? Well, theorem 82, okay, on page 38. If in the same circle or congruent circles, two chords are unequally distant from the center, then the chord nearer the center is longer. Or how about theorem 81? In the same circle, the chord that is longer is near the center. So very similar, just going opposite direction, different if then. Let's look at um, page 35, theorem 80. If in the same circle two arcs are not congruent, then the larger arc determines the longer chord. Oh, let's see, 79. If in the same circle two chords are not congruent, then the longer chord determines the larger arc. 78. If in the same circle or congruent circles two arcs are not congruent, then the larger arc is intercepted by the larger central angle. So let's, first of all, it helps, I think, to study the things that are given. And I didn't write all the givens down for this one, but let's see, they first tell us we have circle O, right? OE is perpendicular to BA, okay? OD is perpendicular to BC. So what that tells us is the shortest distance between this chord and the center the perpendicular will be a perpendicular distance. So we have this distance compared to this distance. Now, because this one is, and I purposely drew it a little more exaggerated than what they did in the pace, but my goal is to show you this is definitely closer than this one, okay? And um, they actually tell us that OE is indeed greater, it's bigger, it's longer, than OD. So can we, since this distance is longer than this, can we say that this arc here, or the one that's closer rather, so can we say that chord BC is longer than, greater than chord AB? All right, here's BC, here's AB. Since this one is closer, can we say that this one is definitely longer than this one? Okay, I think if you look back at um, the theorems that we just covered, in fact, was it, was it 82? The chord that is longer is nearer the center. Okay, so since this is closer to the center, this chord must be longer. All right. Then, there's another one that says that the arc, so we have chord BC is longer, but now if that's true, then this arc must also be larger than the arc defined by this chord, okay? So the arc intercepted by this chord has to be bigger, greater, larger, than this arc. And again, if you look back at some of the theorems, let me look back, let's see if we can find it. Um, was it? Oh yeah, 79. 
Theorem 79, you see that? Two chords are not congruent. The larger chord determines the larger arc. All right. What's the last thing we're trying to prove? We're trying to prove. This was our whole prove it statement. Okay, prove that this angle B O C, okay, so from B to O to C, that angle has to be greater than B O A. Now, this is not actually drawn in here, but imagine B O C. We're trying to prove that that's bigger than this angle coming down here. Well, this angle compared to this angle, yeah, definitely bigger. But how do we know that? Well, these are central angles, and they would be determined then, they're relative to or related to the arc that they intercept. Oh, was that, um, I thought I just saw that. Was that 70, 78? Two arcs are not congruent, then the larger arc is intercepted by the larger central angle. So these two angles that we have defined here actually are central angles. Okay, can you visualize that? And so I think we can use um, theorem 78 to make our conclusion. So again, the point is we're using all theorems that we've used recently, studied recently, and uh, they give you a clue here. Sometimes this clue will help you come up with the one in front of it or the one coming after it. And then the last tip I want to just give you, sometimes in these problems, do not stress out, okay? When you get stuck and you've gone as far as you can, you've tried to work from the bottom up, you've tried to work from the top down, you've labeled everything, you've looked for clues, you've looked at preceding theorems and you're still stuck, it is not wrong to go to the score key, okay? and look at how they did it. Make sure you understand it. Don't just blindly copy down what they say. That would be cheating. But it's like having a tutor. It's like having a teacher who's doing what I'm doing right here, just giving you some clues, saying, well, what about this? How about this one? Do you see how this one meets this? And then if you study it and realize, oh, now I see. Yeah, that does meet that condition. That would prove that, and then that would lead me to that step. I was missing that one step. Okay, don't feel bad if you, you didn't miss the whole thing, okay? Maybe you just missed a couple of steps, and now that you've seen it and you understand it, now you can go back and follow the logic and put your statements in there, all right? So if you don't have a strong geometry teacher guiding you through every single problem and you're stuck, and all again, don't use this as a crutch. The, the point is to think hard and to do your very best. Go as far as you can from all directions, but once you are completely stuck, get some help from the scorekey. Study how they did it and then go back and finish filling in your gaps. Because always, I think I can say this, always <laughs> when you get to the self-test and the pace test, the, uh, the proofs that you are going to have to do are not going to be as long and complicated. Um, yeah. All right. I, because I was asked to also get some help on number nine, I'll stop this video, erase the board, and start over with a little help on number nine and see if we can help you if you're stuck on that after you try it yourself first.